Hello YouTube and YouTube viewers, my name is Chris. Today we'll be making a mermaid balloon. We'll try and get the game a little bit. We'll be using one blush 260, one purple 260, one red 260, and one lime green 260. To start off, we take our lime green 260. <coughs> Blow it up with about eh, four fingers length on it. Stretch it out a little bit. Show what we're stretching. And then fold it over so we get the two ends like that. Pull it down, finger, twist. Make sure you have it. So I'm trying to get right. You can give it another little stretch. Alright. What we're going to be doing is we're going to take about half inch bubble. Here, twist it. <coughs> it's at the top right there. What we got the other two. So you get like a V right now. Turn it around to the other one. So you have two like that. And you twist that one too. They're both going to be about half inch. Two inch bubbles. So what you want. Um, stretch the one that has the knot on it, just a little bit more, kind of twist it and then stretching it out, and <clears throat> take the one that has the knot on it, and do probably, do like a three, two or three, uh, finger, and twist, and how big you want your fans on your right. Pull the knot through. Uh, people that don't do that, it's not good. It will end bad, I promise. <laughs> It'll come undone. You're not doing like a really tight spiral twist. You just want to get it where it's wrapped around. So, um, something like that's acceptable. And what you do is you bring it up. And you want enough to do another thing. You want to leave at least that much right there. That's about maybe hands length Wrap it around. break that piece off now you have the tail you're going to take your red 260 doesn't really matter how much you blow it up, blow it up, um, say probably about halfway, we're going to break a lot of this off, so it doesn't really matter. Always remember to let a little bit of air out of your balloons first, them. you don't ever want them too tight. Stretch it out. We're going to do probably like a three, two to three, uh, <clears throat> finger loop twist. Pull the knot through, and say another. Half inch ear twist. You should have something that looks about like that. Um, always squeeze your balloons. I like to make them a little bit looser. Do probably a four inch section. It's going to be a bird body. Another four inch section. This is going to be a seal. If you do not know how to do the bird body, you do a four inch section, another four inch section, fold them up and twist them like a lip twist. And then you take another one, a little bit smaller than the two that you did, it's probably about three, three and a half finger left, something like that, and you take it and you, you roll it. You take one on each side like this. And you take your thumbs on the other side, about right there, and you just open it up. And you roll it. Some people call the body a bird body, some people call it a roll through. I like to call the bird body. Do another, <clears throat> say about one inch bubble on the bottom. You twist that. Break it up. 
I noticed that this video is really giving me a hard time because it keeps freezing. Should have that right there. Set that aside. You can take your blush 260, <coughs> blow it up. It's probably let's say about. Six inches on the end. Doesn't really matter. We're gonna break some of it off, but um, you want a little bit of work. You know, pull it tight, pull it tight. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hair that we just made, and right here where the top loop twist is, the first loop twist that you made, we're gonna take the knot, grab it, and you're gonna wrap it around. So get it worked in there. And bring it back down to the front. You should have this right now. If you do not have this, then um, just go back and rewatch that part. You can take another section, a little bit smaller than the two bird bodies. The two four inch sections, I mean the four finger sections, you say about three inches. And three, three finger section, I'm sorry. Open it earlier, stretch that a little bit more. You're going to go probably about five to a hand length down. Stretch it off. These are going to be the hands right here. Stretch it off. You probably like a one inch bubble. Another one inch bubble. Just have that right now. And you bring it down. And match the hand. And um, one second. Have that. You have this right here. Do is you take it. Get a little bit of work in there here. And you just take it like this and push everything around. Really need a wet pen. But um, that's what we have to work with. <laughs> All right, now you have this. And this all depends on how long you want your body. I like to make my body a little bit longer than the hands. So the hands go right there. So I try and twist it off about right there. Um, then I twist off another level like, like so. Now what that does, that level right there, that gives you some tie rip. What you do is you break that off and you let the air out and you got a knot. You got some knot room right there. And then you have that nice knot. <clears throat> what we're going to do with this, we're going to take this and those two ear twists that we made on top of the tail. We're going to take the knot, put it in the bottom right there, and just bring it up. Wrap it around, do whatever you want to do to get it worked in there so this body doesn't move. Now we have. An aerial with the tail. <clears throat> See now, I don't like to use a whole 260. I use almost a whole 260. This is actually a scrap that I had um, that's purple. I don't know if you can see it on the camera there. It's almost a whole. Um, you just need it enough to make about two one-inch bubbles and be able to tie it. So it's going to be your seashells. You get that right there, you let it out, probably about three fingers length, something like that. And try and make it a long knot. Twist off the two levels. Just cut it in half. Try something like that. Well, like that right there. Just hold that. Grab your aerial. He's actually going to hold your arms. <clears throat> and you just take it, wrap the two things around her back like so. And tie. You don't want it too tight, so it's going to cut her in half. And it's kind of loose. This reason I said make a long knot like earlier. Um, you want 
to be kind of loose, but not where it's going to come off or untie. You just don't want it where it's going to section back out like. <clears throat> what you do is you just roll the arms around it and pull the arms kind of back. Like so. Kind of situate everything. And now you should have this. If you don't have this, then you're watching the wrong video or you miss something. <laughs> um, <clears throat> now here comes the artwork. What I like to do is I like to start at the top and go down the line. Go down the line. Go down the line. Just kind of like putting stripes on it. You can do something different if you want. Um, I think I've actually drawn the seashells on it before. Doesn't matter to each his own. It's all the eyes. It's one eye. Ash is a cyclops. Um, <laughs> draw the nose. This is a real fun restaurant balloon. I've done it many times. Little girls love it. And after a lot of after you practice it enough, you'll be able to do this balloon in five minutes, two minutes, three minutes. I think my fastest on this balloon is about five. Um, that's what having to explain everything and just twisting it. Well, YouTube, all I gotta say to you is bye bye.